Hey guys, it's been such a long time since I filmed, but hi, I'm back. I hope you're well. It's vlog time. Things have happened in the last few weeks and my year is about to turn upside down or it's just becoming something completely different to what I thought it would be. And that will start with a trip that I'm going on tomorrow. And I will tell you more about this in this video, but let's start packing. I bought a new suitcase for this and it's a big one with some color. I got this from the same company that my other smaller suitcase is from that I showed you a couple months ago for when I go to my, on my Sydney trips. So this is the biggest version they have and I need a lot of space because I'll be gone for a while. Also, I'm just noticing that I think the last time I've done a proper vlog, I think I had the same shirt on in that one. So I do own other jumpers, but I like it. Just like it. Okay, one side is packed of the big suitcase and let me tell you guys, packing is never easy. It's a kind of a whole day thing for me. I'm taking so much time to decide what I need to bring and, and trying to not overpack. That's like, takes me hours to figure out what I really need or what I should maybe like take out again. It's 4 p.m. and I started packing this morning at 9 a.m. I mean, I've done other things in between, but that's kind of how it usually goes. I'm like getting back to it, doing a little bit, and then I can't be bothered, and then I go away, and, and then it just takes me a whole day. And I feel like even by the end of tonight, I'm probably still not gonna be fully packed, but let's see how we go. What's this? Okay. Mm. Now I'm just packing all my shoes, and then I need to think about all the equipment that I want to take for filming. One thing I just got is a tiny little gimbal. I always hated those big complicated gimbals and this is still complicated, at least for me, but at least it's a light one. And then I kind of need to decide how much else I need to pack for filming equipment. Almost that where I was going. But yeah, where I'm going is basically still pretty cold but it's also gonna be warm. I mean, I can already tell you, going to the US, I'm not telling you yet where, but in the US, obviously, it's the Northern Hemisphere. We're here in Australia, so it's currently summer, or technically it's autumn, but it still feels like summer, it's early autumn. Um, but obviously it's winter still in the Northern Hemisphere, so I need, to be prepared for different scenarios and also change of seasons. Because of that, it will take me even longer to pack everything. Okay, I'm all packed. Everything's in here in this beautiful big blue suitcase. So it's time to reveal where I'm going. I already said I'm going to the US. So for the next few months, I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in Dallas, Texas. Which I never thought I'd ever say uh, or that I would ever spend a lot of time there. But yeah, this is what's happening and I'm excited. It's actually something that has to do with work. So uh, I'm going there to onboard a new client for the company that I work for. So I'm gonna be relocating temporarily, you know, and with that I'm getting a chance to just dip into what living in the US is like. So I'm excited for that. And I'm gonna take you with me. So I'm gonna vlog the whole thing and I'm gonna show you what it's like to live in Texas and the places that I stay and the things that I experience. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I post new videos. Now I'm just gonna finish packing my carry-on backpack and then we're ready to go. It's Saturday night tonight and the flight is tomorrow midday, first to Sydney and then from Sydney to Dallas. So let's do it. The Uber's on the way, and we're off to the airport. So I'm 
checked in all the way through to Dallas and I have another hour before I board my flight to Sydney. So I'm just gonna try to get some work done and then we're heading off. All morning I didn't really feel like I was actually leaving for a month. It is quite significant with me being away with only spending uh, I think a week in Australia in the next two to three months. It kind of only hit me once I got into the Uber. I didn't get an upgrade. I always try to register for an upgrade, uh, which I've done for this flight too. Not for the domestic leg, but for the long haul flight to Dallas. I've always been very lucky with that a few years back that I always got an upgrade or very frequently got one. But uh, currently it doesn't seem to be working anymore. As I said earlier, I don't seem to have any luck like, getting upgraded, but that changed. As I walked in, the machine beeped and it said seat issue or seat change, and then I got an upgrade. So I'm flying into Dallas in business now. You want to be in business on a 15 hour flight, so super excited. So what I do always is I uh, register for a points upgrade because I've got so many frequent flyer points that I've accumulated over the last few years uh, and why not use them towards an upgrade on long haul flights like these. So I think I'm going to have an amazing flight. I've got my Qantas jammies on. I'm just waiting for dinner right now. I'm having a gin soda and watching Babylon on my in-flight entertainment. So I'm so excited and very happy right now. We just arrived at the hotel, uh, long travel day, but we're gonna head out to dinner now. I'm here with my team and uh, I'm excited because we're gonna be celebrating winning this new client and it's gonna be a good night. I got so many food places that I need to try. It's so much nicer than the place that I just came from. You get alerts on your phone and those alerts basically go out to every single phone. 